In the following example, we are asked to sketch an angle theta, and I'm going to add in more information that I didn't write down. So we're asked to sketch an angle theta that is in standard position, such that theta has the smallest positive measure, and the given point is on the terminal side of theta. So they gave us a point 3, 6. So I'm going to just plot it here on my coordinate grid that I've drawn for you. So 3, 6, 1, 2, 3. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So it uh, looks like it's somewhere right about here. Uh, you know, that's, you know, what they say good enough for government work. So let's go ahead and use my straight edge here. My famous straight edge. It's actually my college ID. And if you know where I might have gone to school, then you'd know. Uh, without mentioning any names, of course, where it's from. So let's take a look. So let's call this the point three, six. And uh, what happens here is we will draw the angle theta that they're talking about. And this is basically the angle theta. This right here, this that's formed here is this angle for this little sliver here in this area. So this right here, is this quote unquote angle that they're talking about, this angle theta. Okay, now we're not going to measure the angle per se, but there's, there is a way to measure it, but this is just a way to sketch it. Okay, because what we're going to do in a couple more in the next few examples is actually figure out the uh, trigonometric ratios associated with something like this. So that's another video, that's actually the next video, but otherwise this is a really simple. Uh, problem to work with.